Okay class, today we're in section 10.4, Interpret Stem and Leaf Plots and Histograms. Section 10.4, Interpret Stem and Leaf Plots and Histograms. Before, you found measures of central tendency and dispersion. Now, you will make stem and leaf plots and histograms. Key vocabulary, stem and leaf plot, frequency, frequency table, histogram. A stem and leaf plot is a data display that organizes data based on their digits. Each value is separated into a stem, the leading digits, and a leaf, the last digit. A stem and leaf plot has a key that tells you how to read the data. A stem and leaf plot shows how the data are distributed. Example 1. Make a stem and leaf plot. Baseball. The number of home runs hit by the 20 baseball players with the best single season batting averages in Major League Baseball since 1900 are listed below. Make a stem and leaf plot of the data. So here we have the data set. This is 20 numbers. Solution. Step 1. Separate the data into stem and leaves home runs. Look at your numbers. All the single digit numbers are going to be represented by a zero in front. So the zero, then you have eight and eight, seven and seven. If you go on down, you have four and then you have three. All right, the two digit numbers that are in the teens, their stem is going to be one. So one four means 14. 1 9 means 19. 1 8 means 18. 1 4 means 14. 1 2 means 12. And 1 9 means 19. So for the numbers in the 20s, you're going to have 2 5, that's 25. 2 3, that's going to be 23. 2 1, that's going to be 21. Then of course you got 37, 39, and 32. And then finally you have 42 and 41. So that's how you read a stem and leaf plot. All right, now here step two it says write the leaves in increasing order. So all you're going to do is take your same numbers you have here and put them in order from least to greatest. So three, four seven seven eight eight take this set and you end up with twelve fourteen fourteen eighteen nine nine twenty one twenty three twenty five thirty two thirty seven thirty nine forty one forty two example two interpret a stem and leaf plot gymnastics the back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot shows the ages of members of the U.S. men's and women's 2004 Olympic gymnastic teams. Compare the ages of the gymnasts on the two teams. Alright, now to read this stem and leaf, your key is 1, 2, 5, which means 21 and 25. Once again, your key is 21 and 25. Okay, so when you're reading right here, here you're reading 16, 16, 18, and 18. Here you're reading 25 and then 26. Going this way, you're reading 21, 21, 23, 24, and 27. And here you're reading the number 30. Solution. Consider the distribution of the data. The interval for 10 through 19 years old contains more than half of the female gymnasts. The interval for 20 through 29 years old contains more than half of the male gymnasts. The clustering of the data shows that the men's team was generally older than the women's team. Frequency. The frequency of an interval is the number of data values in that interval. 
A stem and leaf plot shows the frequencies of intervals determined by the stems. A frequency table is also used to group data values into equal intervals with no gaps between intervals and no intervals overlapping. A histogram is a bar graph that displays data from a frequency table. Each bar represents an interval. Because intervals have equal size, the bars have equal width. A bar's length indicates the frequency. There is no spaces between bars. Example 3. Make a histogram. Sandwich prices. The prices in dollars of sandwiches at a restaurant are listed below. Make a histogram of the data. Alright, so here we have our prices. Four dollars, four dollars, four dollars and twenty-five cents, four fifty, four seventy-five, four twenty-five, five ninety-five, five fifty, five fifty, and five seventy-five. Solution Step one. Choose intervals of equal size that cover all of the data values. Organize the data using a frequency table. So first we're gonna make a frequency table. Alright, after we choose our intervals. So the intervals used here are four dollars through four uh through four dollars and forty nine cents, four fifty through four ninety nine, five dollars through five forty nine, and then five fifty through five ninety nine. Alright, now how many sandwiches fall within this price range? You get four. How many fall within this price range? Two. Within the five dollar to five forty nine price range, zero. And between five fifty and five ninety nine, you ended up with four. Step two draw the bars of the histogram using the intervals from the frequency table. Alright, so for four dollars through four uh through four dollars and ninety five cents, we had a tally of four. So using zero, two, and four, we make our bars such that the height is four. And notice the length from that is from here to here, from there to there, from there to there, from there to there, all the same. All right, so our next interval was 450 through 499. We only had two there, so that goes, that's how tall it is, that's it. For $5 through 549, we had nothing. So that's why that section is empty. Now remember now, when you're making a bar graph, uh, excuse me, when you're making a histogram, there are no spaces between the bars. Now there are spaces here because we had zero data there or zero tallies. All right, so now we got 550 through 599. That also had a tally of four. So that one goes that high. And after that, you are finished making your histogram.